Mullen. Previously on YouTube's The Drawing Dead. And yesterday, I pretty much got my ass handed to me all day. Quickly turn a chip stack looking like this into one that looks like this. But is that really the smart thing to do with the monster stack tomorrow? Bright and early Friday morning at the Rio. Today is day one of the 1500 WSOP Monster Stack, and your boy is playing in it. Probably the only World Series tournament I'll play this year. So let's make the best of this one. And when I say bright and early, it's early. It's 9 a.m. here. So I need some coffee, I need to go find my seat, and we need to get this thing started right. Tournament breakfast. Found some coffee. Found some hash browns, pancakes, bacon and eggs too. Now it's time to find this seat. What are you gonna say to the people? <laughs> to YouTube's. Hello, people. The $1,500 World Series of Poker Monster Stack, day one. Okay, let's keep it all the way real. 2019 tournament poker isn't really my bag, but I'm never opposed to stepping outside my comfort level a bit and taking a shot. Honestly, the very first part of the tournament was fine, and by fine, I mean I only had one disappointing moment where my Kings lost to Jax. But okay, it's level one, no biggie. Early on, I did flop top set of aces, but that didn't net me any chips, so I was content on just trying to slowly chip up back to starting stack by playing super solid ABC poker. Like in this hand, where I flop a pair on a paired board and I just bet out. Nothing fancy. It took until level 3 with blinds at 100-200 where the first 200 chip big blind ante kicked in before people started playing back at each other. Although there was still a lot of limping, it became common now to see raises from in position players. My strategy to leverage deeper stacks and engage in a lot of post flop play early on was going to need to change. With this being a tournament, which we've already established that I don't play many of anymore, I was really trying to shift my mindset to chip preservation and accumulation over my natural cash game thinking of maximizing value in a lot of spots. Here's a perfect example. An early position player min raise opens and gets four callers in front of me. I look down at ace three suited. In a cash game? This is a super A1 prime spot to put in a large three bet. There we go. Small suited ace, wonderful card to mix in with a three betting range. However, in a tournament, I don't think the variance is warranted. Chips lost are so much more valuable than chips won. So I just call and seven of us take a flop. As far as flops go, this is probably a seven out of 10. Middle pair and some backdoor draws and just one overcard. The problem is that I'm out of position against six other players. So I just choose to check. No one ends up betting and we go to the turn. 
The turn Ace of Hearts gives me two pair and puts two hearts out on the board. There's little reason not to bet now. 1600. So I lead out for 1600 and the original raiser raises to 5000. At this stage in the tournament, that's a gigantic bet, much larger than normal. 4-5 is a straight, but that should be pretty unlikely from an early position opener. Set of kings, ace-king. My hand is strong, but not exactly strong enough to rip it, so I just call. The river could get kind of dicey. The eight of hearts river isn't bad bad, but it does bring in the backdoor hearts, and I check it over to the original razor with zero idea of what I'm going to do if he jams. Luckily for me, he checks it back, and my two pair hold up against his ace-queen. We are currently on break number one of the monster stack. Started with 50,000 chips and I currently have about 37,000 in front of me. Really couldn't get anything going those first two levels except missing draws. I missed a bunch of them. In fact, the only real hand that I won was with pocket aces. Is it going to take pocket aces for me to win a hand? Not only that, but I flopped the set. Other than that, a lot of steals. Some of them have been working but most of them have not. Thus I'm down 13 grand, but it's still early. I ain't worried. The table I'm on is actually pretty soft. There's a lot of limping. There's a lot of opportunities to get things done. I just got to do it. But this is just a 20 minute break, so I'm headed back in. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. Smile. <laughs> I love meeting people that watch the vlog. That guy was from Germany. Leader Hosen Schnitzel beer, bratwurst order bread and beer, complicated history beer, no humor, EDM, and gummy bears that will kind of like give you diarrhea, but it's like worth it. Germany. Germany is located in central western Europe, bordered by nine other countries. Don't forget little Luxembourg, with small coasts on the North and Baltic Seas, which they own about 50 small islands. Don't even pretend like you knew that. Don't. Because if we're going to start lying to each other, I can just stop editing this thing right now. But now you know where Germany is. Look who else is playing the monster stack. What up? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I think that's a copyrighted lie. I think that's somebody else's lie. Tell the people, tell the people what's going on. We're playing the monster stack. And? Donating 50 to blind, donating 50 to blind. <laughs> And how many chips do you have? Rain to level? Around starting six. Around 50,000. And there's your rain delay update. <laughs> no oh, look at this guy. No vlogs allowed. Trojan man. Banned. Banned from the real. <laughs> monster stack we are still in it second break i think when we go back blinds will be 200 400 with a 400 chip ante and i have about 35k in front of me which is 15k less than i started with but unfortunately i just can't get anything going the one big hand that i did have that i thought you know what i finally got something going 
flop top pair, turn trips, and Bill and Rivers a full house. So lost quite a bit on that one. But we still had chips, we're still kicking, we're still in the tournament. So unfortunately, just like last break, this is another quick one. We're gonna use the restroom, we're gonna head back in. We're gonna see how it goes. I mean, we're gonna get you on the blog. Let's get it. We're gonna get you on a high quality blog. Uh -oh. So, very quick uh, post dinner break update. Perfect blog voice, too. It's amazing. I can, have, have the I can never voice? speak this loud in public. I feel too, I'm like too cringy. Oh, um, no. But when you, you're like, oh, no. and welcome to the redo in the hallway. I'm like cringy right now. It's just embarrassing. <laughs> so, I picked up the camera to give you guys an update on my monster stack progress. It's not good. Why not? Not good at all. You just told us you tried to. I tried to punt it off a little bit. Right, but not, but you couldn't do it. But I'm still only coming back with 15 bigs. Coming back with 15 bigs after break, but I finally met this guy, Joey Ingram. But it's not something I want to grind out for a living every day, playing one fucking table at the casino, talking to, to recreational Ricky over here next to me who annoys the fuck out of me sometimes. And and some other people. And listen, man, thank God for Andrew Nimi and the video bloggers. Andrew Nimi is like, is seriously, I agree. I, I love that guy for sure, man. That dude is, I love that guy's awesome. That guy's, that guy is like an actual person that, should be a face of poker. Hello. Nice to meet everybody out there. So something's good's gonna come out of this monster stack experience. What do you think it'll be? <laughs> it ain't gonna be money. <laughs> Come on, Molly. Oh, uh, 